Hi everyone, it's Michelle your CXC Biology Tutor. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, as you can see, I'm switching things up a little bit and I wanted to do something different. As you can see, you are seeing my, my face all I know. Normally you would just hear my voice in the video tutorials, but I said, new year, new challenge. Let me just give this a shot. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna share 50 random facts with you so you can get to know me just a little bit better. So stay tuned, find out more. All right, so I have my iPad here with the list of the 50 facts. So this is gonna be helping me. So fact number one, my name is Michelle Janine Benskin, my full name. Uh, my mother is actually considering calling me Laura. Thank God she didn't, I prefer Michelle. I was actually born and raised in Barbados. My birthday is October the 23rd. I'm not gonna tell you my age or anything like that. I was actually born on a Thursday morning, shortly after midnight. Um, I'm five foot four, so I'm pretty much petite, which is like kind of average height, five foot four. And I have light brown eyes, maybe you can notice it in the video. But apparently my eyes were gray when I was a baby, which is a little strange. So they turned brown as I got older. Um, I have three siblings, two sisters, one older and one younger, and an older brother. When I was younger, I actually wanted to be a gymnast. So I always used to be cartwheeling up and down in the living room and trying to do tricks on the balancing beam. So yes, I wanted to be a gymnast. I actually went to both primary and secondary school with Rihanna, yes, yes. And a lot of people actually thought we were sisters growing up um, in school. I actually went into her, her mother's boutique. She was like, you remind me of my daughter with the same big forehead. But anyways, and uh, speaking of Rihanna, I remember actually modeling at secondary school. I think it was my last year at secondary school in the pageant that she was participating in and she won that year. All right, so moving on to a little more educational stuff. I did eight subjects for CSEC and I got back six grade ones and two grade twos. I did all three sciences. I did geography, um, Spanish, and obviously English, maths, but yeah, six grade ones and two grade twos. Um, I was actually the female student of the year after completing my CSEs, so I guess I did the best out of the females that year. Um, I did five subjects at Cape, so I went on to sixth form and I did Cape. I did the regular communication studies and Caribbean studies. And I got ones in both of those, along with biology, both units, ones. But the other subjects I did, which was physics and chemistry, I didn't do too well in those at all. I think it got like threes and fours, not too good. But yeah, so as you can see, biology was always my, my forte. I always enjoyed biology. All right, um, speaking of Kate, when I was doing the, the last year of Kate, I actually came down with chicken pox and had to be quarantined by myself with the invigilator. I didn't even want to do the exams, but my teacher had encouraged me to come out. So I had chicken pox and I was in a room by myself doing my exams. And I actually forgot that they kind of switched up the exams. It was supposed to have chemistry, but it was actually physics. I was a mess that, <laughs> that, that time with the chicken pox. But yeah, so moving on. So I left Kamamere and I actually did my tertiary education at UE KFIL campus. Now fun fact, I actually was going to do medicine. I had applied to St. Augustine, the St. Augustine campus to do medicine, but I didn't get in. And thankfully it worked out because I don't think I could keep up with the demanding career of being a doctor. So hence why I'm a biology tutor. Um, uh, when I was at UE, I started off my first year doing biochemistry, but then I switched my major in the second year because I could not keep up with the chemistry, the chemistry subjects at all. So I switched my major to biology with a minor in microbiology. 
and I graduated with upper second class honors. And before, before I even graduated, I got two prizes for doing well. I received the Graham Gooden Award, the book prize, and the Pfizer Caribbean Science Prize, which was a thousand dollars. I felt so good with that. But yeah, so those are the two prizes I got before graduating from UE. So after graduating UE, the following year I actually started demonstrating in the lab for genetic and microbiology courses. So I did that for about two years part-time. Um, and then I started my own private tutoring in 2010. And my first class had in five students, that was over the summer, five students in my first online class in 2010. My favorite topics to teach would be any systems of the body. I'm not really in so much to be ecology, environmental stuff, but I like teaching about the systems of the body, especially the circulatory system. That is why I enjoy teaching the heart, the blood, blood vessels, and I also like teaching the, the reproductive system. So for some reason, <laughs> students enjoy that topic. But yeah, so those are the topics I enjoy teaching. So let's move on to a little more personal details, get away from all the educational stuff. I, I'm a Christian. I love God. I love going to church. I love doing devotions, praying, gospel music. Yeah, so I try to live my life to please God. Um, my favorite book is actually the Bible. It is full of wisdom, full of truth, some interesting stories. Trust me, you have lots of drama, suspense, romance, all kinds of different types of stories you will find in the Bible. Of course, the greatest story of all was when Jesus would have came to earth. But yes, the Bible is a very interesting book, my favorite book of all times. All time favorite movie is Sound of Music and the Titanic. Sound music, I think, it is up Titanic just a bit. These are a few of my favorite things when the dog bites. Love that song. But yeah, and I also love watching Hallmark movies, as cheesy and as corny as they can be, with the same plot storyline. I still enjoy <laughs> watching them. Yes, especially around Christmas time. Um, favorite TV shows growing up. So that would be Seventh Heaven, Saved by the Bell, Sister Sister, Full House, yeah. Cosby Show. So those are my favorite TV shows growing up. Current favorite TV shows. Kind of a shame to say this, but The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, that whole Bachelor <laughs> franchise is a reality TV show. But I just get my entertainment from it and I like trying to predict who the lead is going to choose. Um, apart from that, medical dramas, Grey's Anatomy, Private Practice, The Good Doctor, yes, that's the neighbor's dog barking. Anyways, ignore that. So yes, oh, and 911. 911 is another top show. Um, let's talk about food. I have a seriously strong sweet tooth. I love cakes, all types of cakes, cheesecakes. Orange cake, sponge cake, chocolate cake, whatever, cookies, brownies, you name it, marshmallows. I could sit down and probably go buy the marshmallows if I could, but wouldn't. Don't want a sugar rush or go into a diabetic coma. But yes, I have a, a very serious sweet tooth that I need to try to control. Um, I have a strange obsession with cucumbers. I don't know why I can't get enough of it, but it's something about the cucumbers that are very refreshing and cool, especially when you're like feeling thirsty. Sinking into some cucumber slices, my goodness, so refreshing. But yes, I, I have a cucumber addiction. I'm always eating cucumbers <laughs> all the time. My favorite foods, barbecue, chicken. Any kind of chicken pretty much, but barbecue chicken is my favorite. Pizza, of course, and Chinese food. Those are my favorite foods, as far as I can remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm a very picky eater. I don't eat 
a lot of certain foods that you know, most people would eat. I, I don't really like onions. I could deal with onion flavor, but I don't like onion rings, chunks of onions. I don't like green peppers. I don't like anything with coconut pieces in it. So that involves like sugar cakes, sweet bread. I can't stand anything with coconut in it. I don't mind the coconut flavor, but coconut pieces, I can't deal with it. So on that note, I often get teased that I'm not a real Bajan because I don't like a lot of the delicacies that most Bajans would enjoy. Sweet bread, for instance, mauve, cuckoo, saltfish. Yeah, I can't do the conkeys. Nope, not for me. I just, I just don't, I just don't like how they taste. So yeah, I actually never eat an apple whole. Every time I'm eating an apple, I have to have the apple sliced up in pieces. <laughs> I can't eat a whole apple. I don't know what it does. I don't know. Maybe that's a preference. Easier to eat these slices than chunking sinking my teeth down into the, the apple. It's a little weird, but... Alright, my favorite music, gospel and Christmas music. Christmas music is a genre? Well, not really, but yes, I love Christmas music. And Speaking of Christmas, Christmas is my absolute favorite time of the year. I go, <laughs> I go crazy around Christmas. I love the decorating, um, baking Christmas cookies and I love watching videos of people decorating for Christmas yeah so I'm kind of like a Christmas fanatic and speaking of Christmas my husband actually proposed to me on Christmas Day in 2014 yes I'm married I got married in 2015 now my husband and I actually went to secondary school together Combermere but we actually never crossed paths or talked to each other. I might have seen him in the distance or whatever, but I never spoke to him. You know, never really got close to him that sort of way. So we actually met online on Facebook. He had added me because he recognized my face. I accepted his friend request and well, the rest is history. <laughs> I actually was the first to message him after seeing him come down from Communanat Church. Yes, he had visited my church and that's how that's how we actually started talking after that. And here I am today, five years later. Five plus years later, it's 2021. <laughs> but yeah, so all right, um, my biggest fear snakes. Don't want to talk about snakes, I don't want to see snakes. Apart from snakes, centipedes, and millipedes. So pretty much anything that's long and crawly, worst nightmares ever. Yes. I got my license at 21, and it's just an automatic license. It is just an automatic license. I didn't think it was necessary to actually get a manual license. I didn't think it was necessary for me to, to do that because I wasn't planning on getting any manual car and it seemed like more confusing trying to worry about a clutch and this and that. I said no. Let me just try and get my automatic license so I can at least just drive a car. So I only have an automatic license. My worst pet peeves. Hair in food. Finding hair in food. Oh my goodness. Especially long strands. Ugh. <laughs> Here in food, customers, customers, pirates, people that just keep on cussing for every single thing that come out of their mouth. Every other word is a cuss word. I can't deal with it. And then arrogance. I can't deal with overly confident people that think that they know it all. I can't deal with arrogance. Of people that feel that they're better than other people. I can't deal with it. Those are my pet peeves. Um, I have two piercings in each earlobe. Well, they only have one of them. Um, my first person was at six years old and my second person was at 16. I was actually considering getting a nose piercing, 
But my goodness, I used to sneeze too much and had problems with sinuses. They say, no, let me not bother with having a, a nose piercing because that would be a little too messy. So I just stuck with the, the two, two ear, ear piercings. That was it. Um, I traveled to eight countries. Most of them was while cruising. So I went to St. Lucia, Trinidad, um, Puerto Rico, Florida, St. Martin, St. Kitts, Grenada. Well, Grenada was just pretty much passing through before I got to Trinidad. And St. Thomas, right? Eight countries. Um, I cruised twice on the Carnival Cruise Line. Carnival Liberty for my honeymoon in 2015 and Carnival Fascination with my family at the end of 2018, December. That was the New Year's cruise. That was so good. But yes, yeah, so I would love to go back to cruising. Obviously, after all this, COVID has disappeared. Um, I would love to travel to Greece. Is this something about Greece? What do they see people traveling to Greece and they see the pictures, the videos? Is this... It seems to be a very beautiful place. So Greece, I would love to go to Paris, France. After all, Michel is a French name and this seems to be a nice place to travel. And I just want to go to somewhere where it's snowing. I want to experience snow at least once in my life. So yeah, those are the places I like to travel to. And finally, if I wasn't a biology tutor, I probably would be an interior decorator. Or a designer. I'm very much into home decor, decorating, the place, that kind of stuff. So yeah, if I wasn't a tutor, I would be an interior decorator. Or who knows, maybe I could go into YouTube full time. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, those are 50 facts. Why am I doing this? 50 facts about me, random facts about me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next video. I don't think I'll be coming behind the camera again. Who knows? We don't know. But we will see. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and comment below what you thought was the most interesting fact.